Floyd Mayweather's stunts, paintings of himself and Conor McGregor, E-King Fight News. What up, YouTube? What up, boxing fans? Please subscribe. Well, we need more subscribers over here at E-King Fight News. And this video is going to be about Floyd Mayweather stunting Conor McGregor's painting in his new in his new uh, mansion and whatnot. I believe he bought a new home in uh, Beverly Hills. And I, I bet I bet this Conor McGregor fight pay, fucking paid <laughs> fucking paid for a heck of a lot of that shit, man. Oh yeah, this this McGregor fight finna finna make Floyd money for years and years to come. And I'm sure that's why he's got a painting of McGregor. I'm sure the next room he's got painting Manny Pacquiao, except, uh, except, uh, I don't know, maybe Pacquiao, maybe he didn't like him, but I know, I know, I know he, I know Conor McGregor, I think he's got a lot of sentimental value to Floyd, because, um, he wasn't even a boxer, and look at the money they made together, and he wasn't even a boxer, incredible, he literally talked his way into, um, the richest crossover event in sports entertainment history. That's what you can say. This is the richest crossover event in sports entertainment history. And damn near the, the second biggest boxing pay-per-view in, in boxing history. So that, that means a heck of a lot, especially if the numbers do not break the Floyd Mayweather versus Manny Pacquiao uh, record. Shout out to boxing scene. Apparently, uh, I shout out to Floyd's Instagram as well. Um, yeah, twenty-six million dollar Beverly Hills mansion, uh, and that's that's you know, fuck, he could buy a few of those with this McGregor money he he, he pulled in for the pay per view. Um, yeah, Mayweather uh, got a photo of that. He obviously wanted to put that out there because uh, I'm sure uh, he. You know, that McGregor fight brings back a lot of great memories for him. You know, finally getting a knockout, finally proving everyone wrong once again. And, you know, getting that 50th win, uh, you know, I think I think a lot of us expected him to get one more victory uh, to add on to that 49-0 record. And we didn't realize um, that it wouldn't be against a boxer. Right. Uh, both of these guys, I think there's a good chance they're both gonna retire. Uh, McGregor probably still has a lot left in the tank, so he might continue on. But he, it's so unpredictable. And when you get paid this astronomical sum that you've never seen before, and and this is UFC's number one fighter, what is he supposed to do in his next fight? He ain't gonna take the pennies anymore. And I, I know UFC, um, they still have a huge draw with McGregor, but they're going to have to give up s some definite shares. It, it, like, you know, McGregor's looking for more than just a fucking guaranteed purse. He's looking for fucking UFC fucking stock. He wants to be a partner in the whole fucking thing. So um, that's a whole nother story for, the, for them, you know. That's a whole nother story. Plus, he, he's supposed to have his own liquor coming up. Uh, that's, that's big money for both of these guys. Um, yeah, Mayweather made a hundred million guarantee and McGregor made a guaranteed purse of 30 million and he'll probably make a hundred at the end of the day. They promoted the shit out of this fight and it doesn't surprise me that, um, that it ended up like, like, you know what? I, right when this was fight was announced, the hype level was so great, I was positive that it wouldn't be as big of a fight as Mayweather Pacquiao, partly because of the pay-per-view landscape uh, that boxing had um, had suffered after that, that fight because so many people uh, showed up to buy the fight and they were underwhelmed. Uh, that was a narrative uh, coming off of that fight. Mainly because Mayweather won as as uh, as a guy that that fights uh, not the same way every fight, but in a way he, he he scores his points, he outboxes his competitor, and he gets the victory. You know, it may not be pretty. 
You may not like how he wins, but he wins. And a lot of people have a problem with that. For whatever reason, a lot of people do. Uh, it could be race-related. It could be because uh, uh, Vasil Lomachenko, he's going to be... He's going to be fighting Rigging down. We're going to see how pretty and how uh, exciting that fight may be. But when two of the elite of, of the elite end up getting in the ring, normally it's so tactical. It doesn't end up being the most entertaining fight in the world. And I think a lot of people fail to recognize that. A lot of people do. And we're going to see what happens when, when Vasil Lomachenko gets in there with uh, Guillermo Rigging down. Because let's let's see that post fight reaction. If it's a boring fight, whoever comes out the victory, we're gonna see. Because if fucking, I know it. I already know. If Lomachenko wins a boring, you know, pot shotting type fight, or a close controversial decision, then a lot of people will be cheering and crying on number one power pound, guaranteed. Guaranteed. And, and the same would have happened if Manny Pacquiao won the fight. A lot of people would be crowning him number one pound for pound, and they'd be the happiest, it would be happiest time in their, in their lives. They'd be over the moon if Pacquiao won that fight. But when when, when, when the reverse happens, then then oh then it's a then it's a huge fucking backlash. Man, I drop gems every fucking day. You can't fight news, man. Subscribe.